Welcome back from the bench, everybody. As always, it's Eric, and today is our first look. It is finally here. Uh, 2020, 2021 SP Authentic. So, uh, we obviously have had Series 1 and 2 from this year. Uh, from this draft class, 2021, 2022, uh, come out. So, this is... Yeah, this is long overdue. This is at least a year behind, right? A lot of this would have came out in, you know, April, May, June of last year, and obviously it just didn't. So uh, here we go. We get five cards per pack, 18 packs per box. Uh, you get one collect, one future watch rookie per box. Obviously, at this point, we're looking for Kirill Kaprizov, Tim Stutzel, Josh Norris, Jason Robertson, Alexi Lafreniere, a um, bunch of guys like that. Jake Ottinger's in there too. So there should be some good guys to still be looking for. Don't really care about Spectrum FX. I don't think anybody cares about Spectrum FX. Um, and then there's some hand side art autographs. Um, and then uh, hard side. I mean. And then, so you have retros this year. So you have, uh, as usual, so you have 2010 and uh, 2000 as the retros for this year. So we have two boxes right now. Uh, they, I kind of bought them both from my local uh, shop. And then I have one that got mailed out that I ordered, I don't know, nine, ten months ago, whenever it was. And um, so, yeah, we're going to go from here. We'll start from left to right this time. Opened up a box of 2018, 2019 the other day just to kind of give us a feel for the product again. It's been a while since we opened up any kind of SBA. So here we go. First one. Boom. So there's the base. Once again, just a first look. So they just kind of have these like little circles going on. Just makes Zuccarello look like he's got a big butt. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's not my my favorite out of all the all the base from over the years, but there we go. Matt Zuccarello in the SPA. Uh, we got Ryan Nugent Hopkins. So I can show the back of these two. Can finish off the first look. So the back of them, pretty basic. A lot of circles apparently. They love their circles. There we go. Also, let me know what one uh, is your favorite year for for. Um, Future Watch Autos and Bass and stuff. Let me know what, you, what your favorite is in the comments below. So first one, this is going to be a, what is this? Just a base. Different little, I guess it's probably like a 2000. This looks very 2000, 2001-ish style, I would say. So probably just a retro base card of Josh Bailey. So nothing crazy in that one. Which kind of makes sense, like I said. Oh, well, that's a thicker pack there. Maybe it's something good. I said it's a, it's a pretty decent rookie cr like class. Uh, Michael Bunting would be in this too for the least, but he would be in a uh, should be in a uh, Coyotes uniform. That's just filler. So Anders Lee, Keith Yandel. That's one of the cards in the backdrop for the day. Uh, there we go. We got. Celebrated moments. This one's Connor McDavid. So August 3rd, 2020. McDavid gets his first postseason hat trick. Uh, and then we get Ryan Suter and Anze Kopitar. So and then you just have their typical follow us for products, news, information, and how backlog they're gonna be. Not trying to be nice, not trying to be rude to them, but they're still figuring some stuff out. As I said, it's just weird. Like you're, we've opened not just series one, but also series two for this year, and all of a sudden, you know, now we're open SPA. It's, you know, you're getting out of the the mindset of the Ciders and the Raymonds and the McTavish and and Caulfield and Byfield, all these guys, and now you're just going back to this. So Martin Jones, Kyle Connors, number ninety one. So this is Johnny T. So this is true leaders. Get a nice little Leafs hollow. Oil and Kucherov and a Thomas Hurdle. So there's Johnny T. Some people think that they should maybe trade him. It's debatable, right? So I just don't know who wants who's going to take his contract. I think that's the big thing with with Tavares. I don't know who you get to finally take his his contract. So, so no auto yet. 
think we should get about two autos per case per, per, per box and then uh yeah should be two autos per box so this is going to be another one of those retros this is tyson berry former colorado avalanche tyson berry matthew barzell and a josh bailey so they have that seems like that retro they are a cool looking card and i'd rather that than some inserts for sure oh another thick one is this just a filler card or is this going to be something good? Just a filler card. Uh, so we have Brad Marchand. Put that aside. Uh, former Moncton Wildcat, if you guys don't know. Mika Zabinajad. And for the Blues, top performers, Brett Hall. There we go. Brett Hall, Colton Preco, and a Matt Murray. So, a little bit slow so far. Here's the bottom pack. Let's see if this has an auto in it. Brett Hall, all time legend in the game. We go Kale McCarr, Hoy Baker, Calder, Norris, Conn Smythe, Stanley Cup winning Kale McCarr. Uh, we got Victor Hedman right behind him. And then we have. Just a red limited of Pecorine with a Miura Haskinen and a Jake Gensel. I think I've seen um, Sid Sixero from Sportsnet, if any of you guys are in Canada. It's a, he used to be on that, that program. And he was like, imagine four teams taking Kale McCarr, you know, or three other teams drafted before and not taking Kale McCarr. And it's like, I, I'm the biggest Kale McCarr backer and, you know, going. Uh, but you can't really, you know, Mira Hastman is still a good player. Uh, Mark Stone, Charles Konechny, and a Thomas Hurdle, and that same thing, that retro. So these look like they're going to be probably all over the place. I don't know if I'd like that more than the Red Limited. I feel like the Red Limited used to be everywhere in the last couple of years, but maybe they're going to go with these retros instead. Another filler. Mark Giordano, Brent Burns, and another true leaders. It's Connor McDavid. Nice little insert. Tyler Sagan and Connor Hellebuck. I said we're going to take it a little slower this time. The rest of the videos will have at least two more. Uh, I don't think I'm going to have a, a ton. It's funny, I was watching old videos um, of like Siri from like him opening. A ton of packs, a ton of boxes uh, from 2019, 2020 stuff. And I remember him like saying like, oh, these are getting expensive at $130 a box. I would take these at $130 a box again all day long. Uh, so we had Shesterkin, Eric Stahl, and a celebrated moments, Kirill Kaprizov. Hopefully it's not the last time we see him today. He scores overtime winner in NHL debut. Uh, Dustin Brown and Gino. So, yeah, it was it's just funny to hear that. Now they are three. My shop, I think, is three thirty, three thirty-five uh, plus tax. Makes for an expensive break for sure. Um, but you know, 2018, 2019, they go for like six fifty, seven hundred dollars a box. Now, 2019, 2020, they're the same thing. Like it's it's crazy. Uh, Carter Hart. And here is our future watch auto. I don't like that color. Oh, it's a king. <laughs> How fitting for us. Uh, Mikey Anderson. Uh, I pulled a lot of Mikey Anderson. Like a lot of Mikey Anderson. Uh, so there you go. There's our first... First one, Mikey Anderson, 177 out of 999. As well, sleeve him up. I do have some pro molds beside me in case we have something big, but that's our first Future Watch Auto of the year. And yeah, it's just it's that like Mackenzie Entwistle. It's like the two that are the most. Oh, God, I just jinxed myself with Mackenzie Entwistle. Uh, those would be like the two most uh, just fitting for me for the amount I pulled them. So, so 
So we got here uh, Barkov, Matthew Kachuk. Oh, this is a, a future watch auto patch. It's a thick boy. Limited auto material. Ryan O'Reilly, three of fifty. What a what a nice card. I do definitely do not have sleeves ready for this. Um and Shay Theodore. But there we go. Ryan O'Reilly. Three out of fifty. Three colored chunk. On card. Beautiful autograph. Doesn't streak. Isn't spotty. Isn't anything. There you go. Limited auto material. First I was like, who is number ninety? I was trying to figure it out. Hey, that's not a it's not a bad consolation if uh, Mikey Anderson is your first one former Avalanche also former Stanley Cup champion uh, along with Ivan Barbashev back there so uh, Jack Eichel Nick Smaltz and another limited there we go we got we got factor again in the red limited uh, with Philip Grubauer it's Philip Grubauer is does he regret his decision more than anybody uh out there right now you know took a little bit more money to go to seattle instead of sticking it out with uh colorado like very little mo bit more money i guess you can hopefully be the difference uh at an, in a new situation but i think i've said it for a long time i think i would have stayed if i was group i would have taken like, a pay cut you know you know you're gonna be on a good team you know they're good defensively you know you're gonna win or you can go to Seattle and start all new and, you know, deal with the rebuild situation, not know who's going to be on your team. So uh, Joe Pavelski, Mitch Marner, and this one's going to be a celebrated moment of Tim Stutzel making his debut. That's not a bad. I'm, I'm happy with that patch. Uh, where am I putting this? I'm all discombobulated now. Factor, factor got me all worked up. That's a beautiful patch. I definitely don't have. That's a thick boy too. I probably have. I have one touches that would probably fit. They're probably gonna fit that, but I don't have. A, I don't have. They're over there. I can see them from here. I don't know why I didn't grab them before. Uh, Nick Suzuki, Svechnikov, another one of these retros. This one's Tyler Sagan, Vasilevsky, and a Johnny T. I actually like those kind of retros. So they, they look, they have to be 2000, 2001. I, they got to be. There's no way they're not. That's the, uh, that's very 2000-esque. It's kind of a spray paint look. Everything else. Tebu Teravainen, uh, Yanni Gord, a red of uh, David Pasternak, and a future watch retro of Kirill Kaprizov. So not auto, but... Still a big name. I won't have any values right now uh, for obvious reasons. Um, the product has been released. At this point, it depends where you are. I'm I'm in New Brunswick, so I have, you know, it's been released for about two hours now since my store opened. But, yeah, 37 out of 50. It's a retro. Uh, can we get, get a look at the back, too? But hopefully we get his auto in the next one. Just that's going to be the most... You know, the the highest price one for sure. I think out of all these guys, I don't think there's any way it's gonna, you're gonna come, come kind of come close. Uh, Laffy could come close, I guess. He had a pretty good. Uh, you know what? It, we'll take down Mikey. It's nothing against Mikey, but I think the uh, the not auto <laughs> Kaprizov uh, future watch probably you know beats out Mikey Anderson in price. So. Um, but yeah, like I said, I think Caprizo is just the highest price for sure. Has to be. Can't see him not being. What do we got here? Tweep. I'm missing a card. We have... Oh. Okay. It just had three cards in it. Okay. Uh, so Matt Murray. So there's our other auto. We got the third auto. This is uh, from last year's. And then we got Sid in the back. I like that one. 
uh, with a Pecorino again. So this is from last year. Uh, put him in another sleeve. Matt Murray, obviously not on the Penguins anymore. This is 2019-2020. Limited auto. Over on the Sens now. Nice big auto, though. Takes up the whole card. So it's really kind of come around since the, uh, the Mikey Anderson here. Boom. Matt Murray. You guys can look at it for a second, but I don't think the Matt Murray dethrones the uh, Creole Caprizov either. We've got two packs left. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't yet, make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, try to do new, uh, first looks for all this newer product, um, whether it's you know Series 1, Series 2, SPA, a couple other things, clear cut, uh, Black Diamond's going to eventually come out. Um, so anyways, I'll try to get as much as I can. Do a couple other things, you know, try to do some card show videos and stuff like that too. Uh, so make sure you guys, once again, like and subscribe. Brendan Gallagher, here's those extra cards from that other pack. Uh, Mark Shifley in the retro, and an Ovi. So that was, we had three cards in the last pack and we had too many in that one. So last pack, it is a thicker one. I'm not expecting anything. I'm assuming this is just going to be a filler. At first, when I looked, I couldn't see the, the brown. I was like, oh my, did we hit a, a second patch? Uh, so this would be a Spectre FX, I'm pretty sure. Bergeron. And we got Pierre Luc Dubois in the Spectrum FX with another filler. And I have Jonathan Druant and a Sebastian Ajo. So Spectrum FX. I, I don't know who collects these. Somebody, I'm sure. Anyway, so yeah, pretty good. Um, the Mikey Anderson had me a little worried at the start. And then it obviously, you know, came back around. Uh, the beautiful auto of Ryan O'Reilly in the limited auto material. Um, we have the Caprizov, the non-auto Future Watch Retro. It's a nice card. Um, the Matt Murray Limited. It's not a bad one either. I said probably would have been bigger at some point. Probably if they've released it 2019, 2020, uh, probably be a little bigger card than what it is now. But anyways, that's a, uh, can't complain in the slightest. That's a, a pretty decent box. Better than my 2018, 2019, which is, I opened uh, the other day. If you want to go check that, it'll be at the end of the video. You guys can click the link for that. Uh, we'll have another box. So like I said, I have another box on hand that I'm going to open up here. Um for probably tomorrow uh so if, yeah make sure you guys like and subscribe have a third box coming in and for eric at from the bench this is all kind of discombobulated this is what happens when i record during the day i uh, hope you guys have the good rest of your day and we'll talk to you guys later bye guys